Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Power Life TV broadcast, Power Life TV channel. We're restoring families with Pastor Brian and Pastor Tasha, and we're here to give you another great broadcast. It is Friday, baby. Friday. Friday. I, I like got my big glasses on. I see today. you. I'm checking you out. You got the glasses <laughs> on. You got your peeps on. I got on my peep my peepers. So so is that to is that for fashion or to see? No, that's to see actually. <laughs> <laughs> It's a magnification it in is, these it things. It's a magnification. You know, yeah. those blurry days, we, we you got to you gotta get a little extra help. We call it, there you go, we call it help. <laughs> every now and then you need a little help. Yes. Amen. <laughs> but this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be joy. And be glad in <laughs> it. You, you, got the, you got the supply plan on working. Oh, well, you know, sometimes, yeah. you know. It's, it's working, it's working. So, we've been talking about love, sex, and dating. Yes. What you think about this? I mean, what a great subject. Yeah. I wish some, wish somebody had talked to me about this when I was younger, when you I was know? I, up, yeah. you know, I think uh, they were, you know, at some point, it's like, figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got mine, you get yours. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and, so. and I think what it is, I think it was uncomfortable for adults to talk about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think they didn't want maybe to give a bunch of wrong advice. I can I can understand that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh rather than say the wrong thing, it's better to not say anything at all. Yeah. There's that philosophy. It, and you know, the thing about this is um this is a very natural thing that I guess the church has made like unnatural, you know. Uh, and and so whatever you avoid, uh, Satan will invade. Yeah. And you need to talk about these things. You need to talk because people are going to hide and they're going to do whatever they feel is right in their heart to do. And so even if true. they don't feel that it's right to do, they're going to do it anyway because of the, you know, all of the temptation that's in the earth today. It's uh, sometimes it's stronger than your very conviction of, of, of God in your life. Oh, so, that is so, you know, I mean, and, you preach it. And so, and so let us help, you know, let us help you through these emotions and these feelings and how not to put yourself in a, in a particular situation. And so go ahead, get your pen, get your paper, your Bible, and, and follow along with us as we uh, continue yeah. in this uh, subject of love. Grab, grab your paper, grab your boo. Grab your boo. Say, hey, come watch this with me. Talk, <laughs> talk about it. We know a couple that's actually uh, talking about certain things uh, after they watch these broadcasts, and I think that's a wonderful thing. You know, they're, they're analyzing and evaluating yeah. Uh, what what's being said, and I think, you know, you you're setting yourself up for success when you do that. You know, you're not just hearing only; you're becoming a doer of the word. Yeah. So uh, let's go back into our scripture, which was Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter five, verse eight through eleven. You want to read that? Yeah. So you know, the thing that we've been saying all week is that what we want is as a Christian. For you to walk in understanding concerning subjects such as love, sex, and dating. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might say, well, you know, Pastor T, you know, you just putting it right out there. You know, talking about sex and when it comes to the arena of love and when it comes to the arena of dating. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, obviously as pastors, what we promote is abstinence. Mm -hmm. Uh, during that time. Why? Because as children of light, you should be walking in light. Mm -hmm. In light of what? In light of your renewed nature. You have no longer, as a born again Christian, you no longer have a sin nature. Yeah. Now, so the sin nature taught your flesh how to behave though. Mm -hmm. That's right. Say that again. Your sin nature taught your flesh how to behave. That's what it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we've been trained. We've been trained. By the sin nature. But Romans 12 tells us how to how to respond in light of that knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you've been trained by your sin nature and now you have a new born again enlightened nature, it says, I beseech you. This is Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living, living sacrifice. sacrifice, holy 
acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Yeah. In other words, you should be denying your flesh. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. reasonable mm -hmm. as a born again believer for you to deny your flesh. Mm -hmm. And those who say present your bodies a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. So mm -hmm. the way you walk, mm -hmm. not after the flesh, but yeah. the way you sacrifice your flesh mm -hmm. should uh, display the fact that the greater one is living on the inside of you. Yeah, so good. Come on. You know, and you might even ask, how can you say definitively that you no longer have a sin nature? Well, guess what? Light and darkness can't dwell in the same container. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try it. Yeah, yeah. You can't be a sinner and a saint at the same time. You're not going to have both. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You're either going to have light or darkness, mm -hmm. not both. That's right. And so... Uh, at verse 2 it says and do not be conformed to this world now when we read scripture we have chapter and verse but remember this was a letter mm -hmm. there was no chapter and verse there was no divisions and you know I'm not saying anything against those things because obviously it helps us reference the things that we need in a moment right, right? right, so right it's right. good that we can find the address of the information we need but at the same time, recognize these two ideas go together. Mm. And so it says in verse 2, do not be conformed to this world. In other words, don't fashion your life after the image of this world. So yesterday when we talked, we, you know, when we reviewed, we reminded ourselves that we said that our image is found in Christ. Christ. That's right. We're mm -hmm. not conformed. We don't fashion ourselves after the image of this world. We fashion ourselves after the image of Christ. So even I'll stay in like the world. Stay looking like the world. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. we, 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 you, your nature in you should be pushing you to to change. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you know that means that we look like Christ. Mm -hmm. And so in a dating situation, how do you look like Christ? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, the first thing you're going to need is new information, especially as a born-again Christian. What do I do now? Be transformed, the world, this word says in verse 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it means that you're going to have to have a change of mind, and you're going to need some new thoughts that come from God. That's good, yeah. You're so going to have to get your wisdom from God and not from this world as to how to conduct yourself mm -hmm. in a dating situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it says, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. And so right here is saying that as you conduct yourself as a Christian, you can do things good. Mm -hmm. You can do things in a way that's acceptable to God. Mm -hmm. Or you can walk perfect before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you might say, is it possible for me to walk perfect before the Lord when it comes to the dating arena? Yes, yes. it's possible. And what's the word perfect mean? It means complete. And it means mature. It means grow growing up. You yes. gotta grow past some things. At some point, you gotta yeah. look like a grown up, mature Christian. Mm -hmm. You can't look like a baby Christian, always going back and forth, always changing your mind about how to behave, being unstable. Even the Bible says that a double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So, so if you're a Christian today and you're the devil tomorrow, mm -hmm. <laughs> something needs to change in your conduct. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's saying in this. Ephesians 5 8 through 11 for you were once darkness but you are not but now you are light of the Lord walk as children of light mm. for the fruit of the slow spirit down, down. <laughs> for the fruit of the spirit I'm excited about this word yeah. <laughs> is in all goodness righteousness and truth finding out what is acceptable to the Lord now I want to stop right there because you said something about that in Romans chapter 12 in verses Same 1 and 2. Same thing. Yeah, you can know what's acceptable to the Lord. He says you will know what's acceptable by renewing your mind. Mm -hmm. Knowing what's acceptable. Um, a, a renewed mind is a retransformed mind, which mm -hmm. is a reprogrammed mind. Mm -hmm. Knowing now, this is not good. Right, and you know, you should yeah. consult the oh, Lord. This is good, this is good. Even on, well, should I be holding hands right now? Are we at that stage? Mm -hmm. Have we developed in our friendship to a point where we we should be holding hands right now? Oh, that's good. Should I be kissing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I kiss this man or woman, 
will I lose control? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am, am, is my flesh under such control that I could kiss mm-hmm. this man? Or, you know, are we ready for marriage? Are we ready to go get married mm-hmm. so that we can have intercourse as a husband and, and wife? Am I burning in lust? Is that what I really want? Or do I want the whole package? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I want the whole marriage package or do I just want the sex? And it's the thing that, you know, and we're going to hit some points today, but this, this is the thing. If you, if you know what is acceptable unto the Lord, you know it on the inside. You That's know right. what, what God is, is, you know, it's almost like this. I, sometimes I tell my kids, I say, you, my, my adult daughters, you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, I mean, God didn't, God didn't create someone that was un, un, unintelligent. I mean, right. you know what you're doing. And yes. so, and so don't come across like, oh, well, I didn't know that was wrong. Because there's, there, there's that Holy Spirit in you that's yes. showing you this is wrong. And if you know that you're violating laws in your own heart, mm-hmm. if you know that you, you probably shouldn't even have to ask, should I be kissing? Because the thing you though it is, already you already know. know. You already and, know. And the Holy Spirit will tell you, you're not ready for this. If you do this, you if you take this step, you might not be able to control that next step. Mm-hmm. If you get a kiss, you might want to touch. Yeah. You might if you get a if you get a touch, you might want a hug. If you get a hug, you might want more than that. You mm-hmm. know already. And there How far comes you can go. a point yeah. in every person's heart where they know where their boundary lies. And they know if I do this, I will not stop. That's it. I will not stop. I will fulfill every passion on the inside of me. Mm-hmm. So I cannot do this. When yeah. you get to that point, you know mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit is talking to you and saying, if you do this, you'll go too far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? When we when we uh, read after Paul, Paul said this statement, know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Therefore, glorify God with your body. Yes. And, and Paul never put anybody down. No, he, he didn't. Even in his correction, it wasn't like you you you're bad and you're you know you're just sinning. And that's not what we're doing here. What we're saying is you have a greater nature. Yes. You have a greater knowing. The Bible says uh, that you may prove or know what is the good, mm-hmm. acceptable. In perfect will of God, you're gonna know what's right and what's wrong in your heart. In you know, your heart, because and so, the Holy Spirit is yeah. there telling you. So if you're not renewing your mind, if you're not taking what we're saying and and and, and, and taking it to heart or or practicing these things, then you're gonna stay in a state of well, is this okay or is it not okay? Mm-hmm. You know, is you know when you know it's not okay or it's okay, okay. But anyway, so just for review. Oh, the first point we made is that you should take time to remember that you were created in the image and the likeness of God. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you have to figure out what that image is. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, So the next thing we said is just be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't be pretentious. Mm-hmm. You know, consider the fact when you're dating that you can only pretend to be somebody else for so long. You can only maintain that act for so long. So you, you know, if you really want to find integrity in the hearts and the minds and the soul of the person you're dating, then you have to sow the seed of being yourself and not trying to be something that you think they want Mm. or being something that you're not in order to please them. Mm -hmm. So we talked yesterday about being patient and Mm -hmm. trusting in God's timing Mm -hmm. and that, uh, that, that God will display the right person at the right time. He will parade that person in front of you. And so today what we're going to talk about is how do you renew your mind? How do you wait? Mm -hmm. You know, because I think a lot of people are there saying, you know, I really want a companion. I really desire a companion. But one of the things that we said yesterday, and we read out of Genesis 2 and 15, that Adam was whole. That's right. He was single and, he had and whole. Purpose. Yeah. Adam had purpose. Yeah, yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And so, if you are single, what you should be doing during this time of being single is 
finding and maintaining purpose mm -hmm. and being whole. You should be just as whole and satisfied without somebody in your life, mm -hmm. without having uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You should be just as whole as if you had a boyfriend or girlfriend. And if you're desiring, if, and this is another thing we mentioned about waiting on the Lord. If you're desiring a relationship, get a vision. Mm, what does it look like? What What does he or she look like? What does this uh, What does a good relationship look like to you? Mm -hmm. We talked about the young lady in the book, uh, the Fourth Dimension, and how right. Doctor Youngy Cho told this young lady, "You go write out everything you desire for a man mm -hmm. or a mate," and she did. She wrote. So she out, got in faith. She got in faith, and she and she visualized mm -hmm. what she wanted. You mm -hmm. know, and so when he showed up. She knew exactly who he was. Yes, and don't you find that a lot of people wish they had this kind of husband or wish they had this kind of mm -hmm. wife, but they don't actually get in faith mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, over that petition of wanting a spouse. Mm -hmm. They don't actually wow. talk to God. They don't actually ask God, mm -hmm. you know, what what kind of husband or what kind of wife do you desire for me? What kind of lifestyle do you desire for me? Can I just tell a quick story? When you and I first met, mm -hmm. um, I remember that I looked at you, thought you were the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. But then we didn't start dating right away. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, we had no intention on dating. We had no... Just we didn't really know that we were gonna be friends. We just right. You we know, didn't. We we just <laughs> kind of just plutonically just started just hanging together. And, right. And I remember making my list in my head. Mm -hmm. And I remember that about you. I would make my list in my head. Ah, she's trustworthy. That's one. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. You know, um, she's loyal. That's what I'm looking for. Mm. You know, she's beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. She has a not just a beautiful outside, but she has a beautiful inside. Right. You know, that's what I'm looking for. Then when you fix that meal, praise mm. Jesus. <laughs> Glory. And when when that happened, I knew all of the the for lack of a better word, because you're not a you're not a check off on a on a list. <laughs> but I knew all of my 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 marks were checked. And I knew that this was the one. So I was looking at my answer. Mm. I was looking at my answer. And, and many times you're so busy looking at external things and outward things that you forget to look at the heart of a person. Mm. You know, because a person can pretend for so long. Right. And then all of a sudden, whatever is in that person is going to come out of that person. Right. Well, God really gave us a great gift mm -hmm. in that we didn't have to try to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. We just, we, we were not interested in each other in that way. Mm -hmm. And so we had the privilege of just being ourselves. And just getting to know just the Just getting true, to know the, the real, real you. Yeah. No, no mask, no mm -hmm. filter. And you can see the real me. Self, yes. Yeah. And, you know, to, to love another person unfiltered mm -hmm. unfiltered mm -hmm. god wants you to find unfiltered love mm -hmm. and you cannot do that having sex with a person because sex puts a filter on that's so good that's right you cannot do Rose that kissing a person kissing puts a filter on mm -hmm. you know and 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 to say leave the physical out long enough to to leave the filter out, that's the smartest thing you can do. That's right. The yeah. smartest thing you can do is go into a relationship not trying to have um, a, 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 a marriage bond. Mm -hmm. Just go into a relationship being friends. Mm -hmm. And then you can discover are you truly compatible? Compatibility, I think, is the main component. Mm -hmm. of a great relationship. Mm -hmm. If you're not compatible on any other level, all people are compatible sexually. Mm -hmm. That's true. 
That's true. All you, people. And you can be compatible with anybody. Right. So That's when true. you find that bond and your 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 relationship is based only upon that bond, what happens when things change? change yeah. Because mm-hmm. one thing about life that is inevitable yeah. is things can and will change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And if the only bond you have with a person is a physical bond, that will wear out, that will wane, that will change. You may not like the changes, you know? So, so then now you have to go back to basics. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, <laughs> so what we're saying is remember who you are. When you know who you are, then you can clearly see what, what you, you want. want. Oh, that is good. When you don't know who you are, then you just kind of be in like one tossed about by the wind. That's so good. Maybe this one will be a good mate because, you know, uh, what I want is somebody to kiss. What I want is somebody to go to the movies with. That's not oh. what you really want. Those are superficial wants. Yeah. Deep down, when you know what you want, you'll say, he is all wrong. He would be a horrible husband. He'd be a horrible father. You know, he doesn't even You're like the same we things. Daughters, right? I like. <laughs> no, I'm saying that because I understand that sometimes relationships are based on physical attraction mm-hmm. and not based on what you d- really desire. So if you don't know who you are, you don't know what you want. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you know that you're a sports person and you meet somebody who's all into sports and they're not pretending to be all into sports, you might think, hmm, that person may be compatible with me. You have to think like this. So how do we begin to discover who we are? You have to live your life on purpose. You can't date haphazardly hoping that this person will change. Yeah. How many times have we done that as women? Women do this all the time. We date hoping that the person will change. And uh, men, marry. We marry. Uh, women marry hoping that the man will change. Right. Hope I can love him so much. He'll love me so much he'll change. No, he won't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then men marry hoping that the woman will not change. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so, she's so fine. You know, I hope she never changes. Well, guess what? Welcome to life. Yeah. Life. <laughs> yeah. life brings change. Life brings change. That's a part of life. You will change, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I hear Jesse Duplantis in, in the back of my mind talking about Kathy. And Kathy was so cooperative. She would just go along with everything J- Jesse said. And and Kathy, yeah, Kathy Duplantis said, I'm not that same stupid girl you married. And he said, I miss her. Yeah, I miss her. <laughs> Can you get her back? I miss her. <laughs> Yeah. Guess what? Women change, so you better figure out, do you like the person on the inside? Because the outside even will change. Yeah. So, so what you should be doing in this state is being the strongest and the best you that you, you can, be. can be. That's a good word. How do you develop in purpose and personality and, and who you are? How do you discover who you are, well, the best thing you can do is read God's word daily. You discover yourself. Jesus, the Bible says, discovered himself in the scripture. When he opened the Bible, he opened to Isaiah and he said, what? Mm -hmm. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. He knew who he was. Well, the Bible says over in uh, Mark, it says that he looked, uh, in Luke, he says he looked and found where it said about himself. About himself, he said, this is me, this is is who I am. Mm -hmm. Well, when you read the word, the word is like a mirror. Mm -hmm. That's right. You should find yourself in there. You should see the right image of who you are. Mm -hmm. When I read the word, I see myself. I see what I'm supposed to look like and I see what's out of place. Mm-hmm. And I make the necessary corrections and I get back to the person I'm reading about. Yeah. This is me. This yeah. is me. Yeah. What are some of the other things we can do? Our time is running out. Okay. <laughs> well, well, and we'll, we'll pick it up tomorrow. All right. Another or thing. next week. Or next week. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> we can focus on education. Mm-hmm. How about that? What if we sharpen our minds? We sharpen our spirit reading the word, but we sharpen our mind. Yeah. 
We learn a skill. We yeah. learn a skill. We do things that will cause us to have a better financial future. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one of the main reasons that people divorce is over finances. Mm -hmm. So what if I, while I'm waiting, get whole in the area of finances? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, learn something about that. Yeah, through education. Learn, discover what I like to do to be a multiplier in this earth. Mm -hmm. You are a producer, not a consumer. Mm -hmm. Find yeah. out your area of production in this earth. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? One way you do that is through education. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Here, here's something you could do. Rather than stay up in your room. Playing on your phone, right? playing, video, playing games. video games, or what? What else? Sometimes people like to go out and shop. That's mm -hmm. something they do. They go online and they shop. We are doing more activities on our computer that keep us isolated. Mm. Yeah. We yeah. do activities that keep us isolated. That's the truth. What if you actually spent time with good, godly friends? Mm -hmm. You might say, "Well, I don't have any." Godly friends. Where do I find godly friends? A lot of times you find them at church. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just saying. Yeah. When you are in a serious relationship, it's difficult to balance time and simply go to a baseball game with friends. Yeah. It's hard then to just hang out with your buddies at the oh, mall. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's hard to go. Mm -hmm. How about so this? Yeah. Go go playing. Mm -hmm. Go paintballing. Mm -hmm. You know, go doing activities which are fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to do that when you're on a one and one serious relationship with a person. So why don't you develop in your friendships? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's you good. know, yeah. why not uh, develop relationships with people you trust? And let me say this. Uh, the Bible says that bad company corrupts good manners. Mm -hmm. Recognize when you're hanging out with bad company. Yeah. How do you know that you're around bad company? Well, guess what? It won't make you feel good, mm -hmm. for one. Mm -hmm. You will feel sorrowful after hanging out with bad company. That's true. That's true. We're going to stop right there. We're going to pick up here next week. Uh, I, I, there's so many things that, as you were talking, that, that was just rolling through my mind. Um, the, the per first part about reading the word daily is also you should make uh, personal declarations and affirmations on yourself. I love that. Make confessions. Make confessions. You need to declare some things over your own life. Mm -hmm. You need to, you need to, you literally need to declare your morning. You need to declare your afternoon and you need to declare your evening. Wow. You, you need to speak your whole day out. When in, the, you, in the morning. When you do that, you really become a leader among your friends. Yeah, that's the truth. Because if you're truly whole, mm. people will, will recognize the wholeness that's on you and want to yeah. know, yeah. how'd you achieve that? That's the truth. That's the, that, that is the truth. How'd you get whole? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you cannot deny the power of daily confessions and affirmations. Yeah, yeah. you must do it. Do it on, on you gotta basis. do this yeah. every day. So uh, yeah, do that, and then also when you're when you're going out, if you're you know, or you're dating someone, if you're just so exclusive that you you see the signs of, I gotta keep you to myself, mm. and I don't want you control. That it. could be controlling and possessive, you know. So do you want to marry somebody that's mm -hmm. like that? You know, do you want to continue on in a relationship where you feel like? Uh, you can't have any fun. You know, mm. you, you want to make sure that in this discovery process, mm. this is what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. This is who you really want to be connected to. So we're going to stop right there. We're going to pick up here next week. I pray that you receive every word that we say. Go back and watch it again. Take notes. Discuss it with your fr friends. Maybe you're in a relationship. Discuss it with your with your uh, partner. Discuss uh Discover one another. Are you this? Are you that? Let's talk. Let's let's get some things out. Amen. Amen. I pray that y'all uh, are have enjoyed this whole week. We want to give you an opportunity to sow. Um, again, uh, you can go to wordpowerchurch.com and click on the donate tab, and you can uh, sow into these messages. Yeah, if this helps you in any way. Partner with us. Partner with us. Help us to get more of these things out. Um, you know. Put your, put your money where your heart is. You know, if your heart is into sharing more um, 
more programs like this, for us putting out more programs like this, we'll see it in your partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, so when good. you sow into us, you actually partner with us to get programs such as this out there mm -hmm. for those who need to hear it. You know, I ran into a lady just the other day and she saw us on this program. That's right. Yeah. She tunes into this program. I had never seen her before. Mm -hmm. And she recognized us simply from watching these programs. Listen, you never know who this is going to touch. That's right. That's right. So we love you today. Let us bless you. The Lord bless, bless you, you and, and keep you. you. The, the Lord, Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. you. The, the Lord, Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give give you his peace. We, we declare, declare shalom, shalom and, and blessings over your life. And we declare that Jesus is Lord and he's upholding all things by the word of his power. Have a wonderful weekend. See you at church and we'll see you next week. Amen. Amen.